Welcome to this podcast on how to renew your SaaS license, presented by Amadeus Software. My name is Andrew Williams and I work for Amadeus, who are experts in SaaS and providers of consultancy, support and training for SaaS software. Please visit our website www.amadeus.co.uk to find out more information on this podcast series, as well as the other services we provide. In the following presentation, we aim to explore the different methods for checking the renewal dates for your licenses. This will be followed by a demonstration on how to renew and update your SaaS license, and how to then confirm that your license has been renewed. Firstly, let's look at the SaaS installation data file. This file shows you the products that you have a license for and the expiry date. For security reasons, we have hidden our details. Here is your SAS order number. Site info name contains your company name and site contains your company identification number. You will need these details when requesting a new license from your SAS installation representative. To check the renewal dates for your SAS licenses, we will need to open a SAS session. In this example, I'll be using the Display Manager session, but this can also be run from SAS Enterprise Guide if you wish. In the SAS Program Editor, I need to start a new program and type PROC SET in it, semicolon, run, semicolon. I then run the program, which will output the results into the log window. Opening the log window will show all the SAS modules licensed on my machine and the expiration date associated with them. Of course, if you forget to check your SAS expiration dates, SAS will warn you that your license is about to expire. Depending on how long your grace period is set to, you'll then enter a warning period before you'll no longer be able to use your SAS software. You'll see when you run your programs in your SAS session if you check the log window, you'll see a warning telling you that your SAS system is set to expire. Once the end of this warning period is reached, you'll be unable to load your SAS products. When you try to run a SAS product, you'll receive an error message telling you that the date of your SAS system is past its final expiration. There are two methods to renew your SAS license. The recommended way to renew is to use a SAS renewal application. In Windows, this is called Renew SAS Software. Unix is SAS Setup and ZOS is Renew Job. Here we're going to cover how to renew your license in Windows. To load the Renew SAS Software wizard, you need to navigate to the Start menu. Next, you need to select All Programs and then open your SAS folder and open the subfolder called SAS 9.2 License Renewal and Utilities. Finally, you'll need to click on the Renew SAS Software application. The Renew SAS Software application will then open and appear on your screen. Step 1 asks you for the location of your SAS installation data file. This is the new file that you want to update your system with. You need to browse to the location of the file by selecting the Browse button. If you are still unable to locate the SAS installation file, then click on Help in the Renew SAS Software application and select SAS installation data file for information on how to contact the SAS installation representative at your company for further help. Once you find the file, click Next where a pop-up will appear asking you to verify your SAS installation data. This is so you make sure that you're using the correct file. This will list all the SAS applications and their new expiry date. If you are happy that you have the correct file, click OK. Now step 2 will ask you for the location where SAS has been installed and the location where your configuration has been installed. By default they should be entered correctly. If not, you need to change the location by pressing the browse button. If you are happy with the locations, then the final step is to click renew which will then tell you that set in it was successfully applied. Clicking OK will close the wizard. 
The second way to renew your SAS license is to run the proc set in it from within the license. So if we take a look at the license file again, you can see the proc set in it release equals 9.2 statement. If we copy this section to the run command, as you can see selected in blue, into a new program in SAS, and then run the program, it will update your license file, which will be confirmed in the log window. To check that your SAS system has been renewed successfully, we can either run the proc set in it once more from the SAS program editor, or another option is to check the set in it log file found in your SAS install directory, SAS foundation slash 9.2 folder. This log file will be very similar to the output you'll see in the log window in SAS after running the proc set in it option. So to conclude, we have covered the methods used for checking the renewal dates of your SAS licenses. We then went on to demonstrate how to renew and update your SAS environment. And finally, we looked at how to confirm that the license updates were completed successfully. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope that you found it useful. Please make sure to check out the rest of this podcast series via our website. We also welcome any comments or suggestions that you might have for future tips. Please feel free to contact us via email at info at amadeus.co.uk, by telephone, or by visiting our website at www.amadeus.co.uk.